Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We'll take some examples. Is the demineralized or distilled water used for food drinking? No. How can we make it useful? By adding useful minerals. So this demineralized water and minerals it becomes mineral water. What properties of water will make it useful as solvent? And what type of compound can it dissolve or hydrolyze? See, water we know that has high dielectric constant. Hope you remember this 79.3. Also, it has high dipole moment. 1.5. So these two properties, right, makes water a good solvent. Next question is what type of compound it can solve? So ionic compound, almost all, because it has this uh, dielectric constant development and many covalent compound also it can. Covalent many, it is almost all, correct? Ionic all because it also has a hydrogen bond like that also. Polar in nature. So with that it dissolves almost all the ionic and many covalent compound. What type of compound it can hydrolyze? So hydrolyze I know is nothing but you have this uh, oxides, hydrides, carbides, these kind of things you add water, you get acidic or basic solution. That's called uh, my hydrolyze, right? So, so water can hydrolyze many oxides, hydrides, carbides, etc. For example, if you see CaO, if you add water, this becomes COH2. What is the difference between hydrolysis and hydration? Hydrolysis we just covered in the last problem. Hydrolysis is nothing but right here. Nothing but you have salt and you add water to it, you get acid base solution. Acid or base. For example, I can take this Na2CO3, you add water to it, you give NaOH, that's it. And H to C. So you see this is basic. Correct. Or if you NH 4 Cl you add water, you get HCl and NH4H. This is acidic. But hydration is nothing but hydration is nothing but addition of water molecules to ions or molecules to form hydrated ion. For example, NaCl you add water, what it becomes? This becomes Na plus and Cl. Or I'll take some other reaction actually. I'll take CuSO4. Let, let's start this reaction. CuSO4 plus 5H2O. If you add this, becomes CuSO4 dot 5H2. This is blue in color. This is white in color. Right? So this is added. This is nothing but hydration. Hydrolysis you add some salt to water, you get acid or base solution. What do you expect the nature of hydro hydrides is if formed by the elements of atomic number 15, 19, 23 and 44 bit dihydrogen. So the first is atomic number 15. So Z is equal to 15, what is there? It is phosphorus. Phosphorus forms hydride PH3 and this is nothing but covalent, non-metal, right? The next is 19. Z is equal to 19. We have potassium. 
potassium bond K plus H minus that is ionic hydride. The next is 23. This is a transition metal, so it will form interstitial hydride. 44. Now this is a gas here. 44 is a transition metal element, right? But it is part of group A. And I told that the group A will not form any hydride. So there is no hydride. So what you do? You have to find the atomic number. With that, you have to find the group. And then based on the group, you can tell whether it will be covalent hydride, ionic hydride, interstitial hydride, or no hydrides. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.